Well, hello again from Kingston, where it's been another week of very mixed weather. And today is just a little windy, but the work goes on. And if you're interested in it, please subscribe to follow these updates and make sure that you don't miss any. Thanks for watching. Work continued this week on the east abutment. In the normal way, work was confirmed by survey. And while a new air compressor arrived, the generator that had been in the abutment was moved. Before very long, the next of the concrete forms was in the air and moving into place. It would be lowered into the south side wall of the abutment. Completing the work on that face. All that heavy lifting is energy intensive work and before long it became necessary to refuel the crane. The north side wall would be lifted into place later that day and next morning, amid snow flurries, the crane had gone. But work continued to secure the forms. This demanded work both inside and outside the abutment. While all of this was taking place, some work was going on below to refresh and repair the roadway. As work continued throughout the week, a mysterious arrival on Thursday provoked interest as it backed down to the abutment. What initially looked like ladders turned out on Friday morning to be stairways. Elsewhere on Gore Road, Work on the fence line was progressing quickly. With all the welded brackets in place, attention turned to painting them, which demanded a little bit of preheating. On Friday, the first cross pieces arrived and were installed. It can't be too long now before we see the first sections in place. Flexibility is key to success in engineering and this week it was decided to move one of the working cabins from the lower laydown to the causeway. Variable conditions continue to be a hallmark of the season but they don't cause a great deal of disruption to work. And when a weather window opens up, the opportunities it presents are seized. Like this delivery of concrete to the dividing wall on Thursday. It's in danger of being overlooked, but work is going on constantly to make the preparations that will allow the bridge to have reinforcing rod and eventually concrete set in place. Only the south side of three spans, 15, 16 and 17, remain in need of this essential preparatory work. And there's work to be done too on the two concrete spans to the east of the steel structure. Warmer weather will undoubtedly accelerate and improve the whole process. And with that cheerful, hopeful thought, let's go to wildlife.
Well, that's another week in the bag and Valentine's Day next week. So make sure you're prepared and you take the time to express your appreciation to partners. See you next week.